In the scientific literature, and in many, many other areas, the concept of something called a biofilm has suddenly reached a lot of interest in a lot of people. The simplest explanation for a biofilm is something we all experience. When you wake up first thing in the morning, that slimy, unusual sensation you have in your mouth is actually a biofilm. And so the question is, what is a biofilm? In simplest terms, we know that we have lots of bacteria on all surfaces of our body, including our mouths. When these bacteria, which are in what is called a planktonic state, meaning free floating, when these planktonic bacteria get encased in a three-dimensional matrix of sugars, such as can be found in your mouth, that is then called a biofilm. Now, biofilm doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, and in fact, in several species of plants, biofilms serve a very important purpose by protecting the roots from fungus, pesticides, and other things that may injure the plant. In wound care, however, biofilms may cause problems. As I said, bacteria in a planktonic state get encased in a three-dimensional sugar-type matrix, and then they are essentially hidden from the outside. Recognizing that they are bacteria, these bacteria can have a not-so-good effect on wound healing. The problem is, is that by being encased in this three-dimensional sugar, antibiotics, unfortunately, have a very difficult time reaching and getting to and causing problems for the bacteria, allowing for the bacteria to survive at a much greater time and cause much more damage. The key then is to try and somehow open up the biofilm and or remove the biofilm so that wound healing can progress.